Oh, hello, and thank you for joining me. I'm Timbo Took, and this is A Joy of Painting Middle Earth, a time when we come together to paint the most fantastic landscapes Middle Earth has to offer, and maybe we'll paint a scary one a time or two. That can be quite fun, you know. Now, I may not be the best painter in the Shire, but I do love it so, and I'd love for you to paint right along with me. So if you're ready, grab your paints and your brushes, and let's go on an adventure. Alright, thank you for joining me, thank you for joining me. We're all set to get painting now. We've got our canvas prepared, and that means we have our liquid white, that magic white paint, already put down a thin layer of that. And you can tell if you've got enough. If you just touch it, and you can see your fingerprint through the paint, you know that you've got just enough. If you can't see your finger through... If you can't see your fingerprint through the paint, that's a bit of a tongue twister, then you've got too much, and you just need to take a paper towel and wipe some off. Now, today's painting, oh, it is inspired by one of my favorite gifts. Yes, oh, this lamp right here that, oh, my daughters made for me. That's right, they're quite the little painters themselves. So they made me this lamp of our fellowship and the silhouettes, and I thought, that would be a fun painting to do today. So we're just going to put down some clouds and mountains, and then we'll have that silhouette of our fellowship right in the foreground. Where'd my brush go? There it is, there it is. All right, are we ready to go? I'm ready to go, let's get to this. We've got our colors on the palette. Of course, we have phthalo blue, burnt umber, uh, ivory black, cadmium lemon, yellow ochre, and of course titanium white. So we're going to come up, and today's painting, it's not going to be a lot of colors. There's no green up here. They're very high in the mountains, in the rocks. And I've got that white on there. Let me just get a bit of some titanium white here. We don't want to use just straight ivory black on there. So we're going to we're going to lighten that up a little bit, a little bit, you see there. And we have some color variety right on our two inch brush. And we'll come up and we're going to start in this corner. It's going to be darker over on this side and lighter on this side. So if you have to put a big old hobbit foot right on your easel and just come in and just put those clouds Oh, we're doing some dark clouds lately. That's what we seem to be doing. There we are. Just take it right down. Here we're going to have we're going to have some mountains and things in front of all that. There we go. There we go. Now we're going to be lighter over here. So, I'm just going to wash some of this paint off, or knock it off anyways, some of that dark paint right down here. Because this is going to be dark, we're just going to cover that with some rocks later. So let's clean off this, this brush. We just put it in our odorless paint thinner, that's right. Just clean that off. And then of course, now we're not going to beat the sarin out of it on the easel because we're inside the hobbit hole and that would not be a fun sight. So I have a rubbish bin. So we just... That's right, beat the Sauron out of the brush, right down in the rubbish bin. There we go, there we go. So, what we'll do is we'll come here, we'll come back to our titanium white. We'll get some of that on there. And just make it a little gray. And then we come up. And we put that lighter, that lighter gray. We just mix in from this side. There we go. There we go. And just just bring that down. Don't don't mix it so much together you can't see those variations, but you do want to make it softer, a bit softer. This is just a a gentle sky. It's not a storm in the sky, not yet, not yet. We'll get to that, we'll get to that. But we just soften this out. There we go, soften that out. And just, just come right across like that. Maybe we want some whiter clouds. So I'm just gonna set this two inch brush down 
and I'm just going to go to another clean two inch brush and we'll come into right into some of our titanium white there. Just load it on the corner of the brush and then come up here. It might be a little too thick on there. So let's tap that into the brush. There we go. Now you just look for some lighter spots and we just we just tap that in. There we are. There we are. Some over here. And if you're picking up some of that gray paint, just knock that off in the rubbish bin. You don't need to go back into the paint thinner. Not quite yet. But just take some more of that titanium white. Knock it onto your brush. And of course, I've got this bigger palette. That's right, I've got this New Wave Fine Art Products palette. I put a link in the description for it. I talked about it last week. Oh, some nice gentlemen at New Wave Fine Art Products. Keith and Kyle, two brothers. Oh, very nice gentlemen. They have a great company that makes some great art products. There we go. And, of course, those links down in the description, I just have to put a little disclaimer in here. Those go to help pay for some of these paints and canvases and all these things that we do in here. So, knock some of that off. Let's go get some more of that titanium white. And just come. Maybe this cloud is coming up tall. Oh, we didn't put it on. We didn't thin that out enough. We put that on real thick, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll just... There we go. Just scoop some of that up and just tap it off over here. There we are. There we are. There we go. Now let's... We're just going to come and we're just going to blend that in. There we are. Just blend in the bottom. Leaving that top. Leaving that top. There we go. We'll pick that up in a minute. Oh, just wash off that brush now. We don't want to have too many dirty brushes lying about. There we go. All right, now I'm just going to come, I've got a one inch brush, and we're just going to blend this down, blend it down. There we go. Just making circles with that. We don't want to spend a whole lot of time in the clouds today because Oh, we know we've got, we've got our work ahead of us. We've got our work ahead of us with that uh, silhouettes, the paintings of the silhouettes. Now we just lift, just be the wind here. Just lift that up. There we are. Now just soften that out. There we go. Now we have that nice, soft sky. Well, it's a little, it's a little iffy, but I do like those cloudy skies. I like those days. That's right. All right, so let's do some mountains. Let's do some mountains. We're going to do the far off mountains back here first. So those ones, oh, we're going to take that lighter gray. We're going to use that. We're going to mix up that color. Not going to be a lot of details on these mountains back here. These are far away. Maybe even take some of that titanium white and mix it in there some more. There we go. Pick that up. And just push it down. There we are. So get that. Let's clean off our palette knife.
Now we just come and just cut a line right across. And we've got some mountains that go back this way. Just take that up. There we go. Pull those in. Get some more. Come in here. Coming down. Give a little bump out. There we go. And just pull that in. Just pressing that paint in. We're not going to do a whole lot with these mountains. We're not going to put all kinds of crazy highlights and things. We'll just come in with a brush. Just come in with that one inch brush and just these ones that are farther back. Just pull it out. There we go. Pull this one right in front of that. And of course, these are the misty mountains, so they would be plenty misty. There we are. Just bring that down. There we go. Now we want to do some detail to them, so let's pick up just a bit of our titanium white and we'll just tap that in out there just to give a little bit of highlight and shadow in there this will be the lighter side just tap that down. And we're just putting it on there and then just pulling it out a bit. These aren't very hard details back here. Now we'll take some of that titanium white and we're just going to tap this in at the bottom. Just creating that misty layer. There we go. And then our silhouette is going to be here, so we'll have to soften that out. But let's go with some more mountains. That's right. They're going to come a little taller as they come this way. A little bit darker. Just taking some of our ivory black. Mixing it in. There we go. So you see we've just taken that gray and we've darkened it up a bit. Get some of that on our palette knife, and then we'll come here just right like this. Like this, maybe he comes. And just pull that paint out. There we go.
Maybe there's a peak back there. And you can use your palette knife to make these shapes and things in there. Just scraping it out. Now before we make a bigger mountain, let's let's come again and we'll just oh let's knock some of the paint off that. All right. Now that we've dried it off a little, just pull that mountain down. And remember your angles. If you're pulling this way, just keep keep it coming that way. Then when you get to this back side there, you can pull it down the other way. And that way you can move mountains. Bring it right back in front. That peak will come right there. There we go. Soften it out at the bottom. There we are. Now we're going to go with a little more of the snow highlights. So oh, that yellow ochre's getting, he's getting all excited and running away. I tell you what, I must have gotten into some hot spots with my paints and I turned them all to mush. That's right. You don't want to do that. So sometimes you can learn how to paint by doing the opposite of old Timbo Tuk. <laughs> there we go. All right, so we've got some of our highlight snow. Let's just come right down this way. And there we go. There we go. Just bring it in. Just gently. Gently on that face. And this way we can create some other things on that peak. Some, some dips. Some places of shadow. There we go. And let the let the canvas just kind of give you those details too. Maybe bring this one up right here. And back this way. You can make some details just by scraping out some of the paint. There we go. There we are. Come in. A little bit more right here. There we are. Now let's come to a strong mountain right, right in front right here as we come off this way. So this one, we're just gonna get a touch of that gray. Still going to be very dark with this one. That's right. He'll come here, comes right up this way. Right down in front of this guy. Uh, 
and then pull it down into the canvas. Just leaving that edge there. There we are. Now let's come back to that one inch brush. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna knock some more of that paint off with some, there we go, with some paint thinner. Get that nice and clean. Let's dry that off a bit. There we are. Now let's come in here and we're just going to Bring this out this way a little. That one might have still been a little too wet. Let's come to this one here. Just our two inch brush. There we go. We don't want to pull too much of that paint off like we were doing. And let's just say that breaks back that way. And soften it out down there at the bottom. It's getting lost in the mist. Now remember our silhouettes are going to be in front of this. So we do want those to show up when we finally put them in. Knock off some of that paint. Come back up. There we go. Now we'll put in a few more details on there. Coming to our titanium white. Just let it break off the knife. There we go. It'll come down like this. And wipe some of that off. When we're picking up some of that other paint, we want to wipe some of it off. There we go. Just come back up and we can leave this backside pretty dark. We just want the indication that some light is hitting back there on the tops of those. There we go. And just come into some of our dark there. Give it some deep shadows. There we go. And we have our mountains there just in the back. Now let's, let's come with a little titanium white. We're just going to put that in here. And what we'll do we're going to come to our blender brush right here. Just put some white in there and then we'll make some of that mist. Just soften that out. There we go. That's a fun brush to use. Just gives us that look of the mist. It's a very soft brush, this one. Very soft. 
So we just go here. Now, if you are painting along, you can even put on some music. That's right, I love to paint with music in the background. Oh, and I know some songs that go perfect with this. Although I'm not allowed to play them. Not while I'm doing this here on the YouTube. But you know what they are, and you can play them as you paint. You can even play them along with me, softly in the background. Or maybe you want to turn it up because you don't want to hear me blabbering the whole time. That's right. Okay, okay, I'll get on with it. I will get on with it. There we go. We've got our ivory black. We want this deep black on these rocks that are going to be right in front. So this hill is going to come right through this way. Right down here. This is the path that our fellowship is taking. So we just put that in. There we are. And we're just going to take this. We're going to let the canvas. We're just going to let the canvas create the ground for us. We just scrape it in. Come back. Get some more. And you see that that paint breaks off on the canvas and that gives us those shapes of the rocks and things. There we are. Not much to this part on the bottom. Like I said, the canvas does most of the job for us. We just give it the shape of those stones. And here you go. And there we go. Um, we might have to pull it this way. There we are. And then you have a choice. You can you can just keep that bottom like that, or you can come in with a brush and you can put some more of that ivory black down at the bottom just to fill that in. Fill in your edges. There we go. There we are. And just set that off to the side. Just take some of our gray that we have there. Some of the light gray. Just make some ridges and things here. So you're just giving yourself some dark areas for the shadows and then just some highlights on these rocks.
and you can add as much or as little as that. You can keep that completely dark if you want. It's your world, you do what you want, you do what you want. There we go. And this part is pretty dark over here. Just put some of that in. Now it's time to put in our fellowship. All right, now this is the tricky part for old Timbo. Oh, you know that. I like doing mountains and clouds and things. We're just gonna take this ivory black. We're just gonna thin that out. There we go. We wanna make that a little like ink so it flows a little better. And I'm just using, I just grabbed any old brush. This is just a flat, oh, I don't know. Let's see, a number five, whatever that means. I don't know. Some of you may know a lot more about painting than old Timbo Took. But this one's a number five. It's flat. You can see there. And we're just going to come. And oh, who is in the lead? Oh, but our wizard. And we'll just make that wizard staff. Right there. There we go. Little design on top there. Come back. Get some more of that. And let's see. Just ease hold it on to that. And now this is something that you may want to. You may want to let your painting dry for a few days before you come back in and do all these details. You may want to do that. Or you just jump right into it like old Timbo. That's how we'll go there. And... And our wizard, he was wearing his hat. That pointy old hat. That's right. Oh, Gandalf. He traded that hat. When he became Gandalf the White, he didn't wear that hat anymore, and I kind of missed that hat. There we go. Just give it the shape. Come back down. There we are. And it helps when they wear robes. Oh, robes are the easiest thing to paint. I do like a good robe. That's right. We just bring it down and it just flows back. There we go. I can't imagine trying to, trying to go over a mountain wearing a robe. But, I guess that's why he was a wizard. As I said, if you want to come back and go over this, with your black once again, once it dries, if you want it to have more of that silhouette look, you can do that. That is fine. There we go. And right behind Gandalf, we had our ring bearer, so he'll be... Oh, he'll just be half the size here. We'll just make old Mr. Frodo right here. Yeah. 
And we'll say he's wearing his cloak. That's right. Get some more paint there. Just come back. He had a pack on too. They all were carrying something. You don't go on this kind of adventure without being weighted down. No, no. Maybe he had it slung over his shoulder. And, well, even, it probably wasn't sticking out much, but we'll just say Sting was right there. There we go. Remember now, these are just silhouettes. We're just having a spot of fun. Okay. Now we have, oh, our elf of the party. Oh, Legolas. That's right. He was much taller than old Frodo. And of course, of course, he was our archer. So we want people to know it's Legolas, even if it's just in the silhouette. And we'll give him his bow. But we'll say that's on the other side of him. And of course he had his quiver. There we are. And then the unlikely, the unlikely friendship, the bond that formed between Legolas, the elf, and oh, our dwarf friend, oh, Gimli. Gimli will be a little thicker set in stature. And we try and get this nice and dark. And then, of course, we'll say old Gimli's axe was tossed over his shoulder.
Oh, that's a mighty axe that old Gimli has. That is for sure. There we go. Just get some of that black on there. There we are. There we go. Now, now, we've got two hobbits following behind. Oh, that's right, my grandpappy Took and my grunkle Mary. They were along on the adventure as well. They were. There we go. We'll put one here. And then, of course, the other. And we'll make them the same height for now. Of course, we know what happens when they stay with old Treebeard. Oh, don't be an egg spoiler, Timbo. Oh, if you haven't read or heard the tale, I don't want to spoil anything. Not old Timbo, I don't want to be an egg spoiler. You'll just have to read it for yourself. Or I even hear there's, there's sort of a, a thing you watch, kind of like watching a Palantiri. And they have the whole story. Whole story set for you. That's right. We'll give these guys, oh, just some things they're carrying along the way. Maybe their arms are full of stuff. I don't know. Holding on to that pack string. Ah, and then comes one of our mighty men. That's right. Boromir, captain of the guard. He was much taller than, than these old hobbits. There we go. And we know he carried his horn, the horn of Gondor. And he had his shield. We'll put his shield right on his back. Because every captain needs a shield. That's right. Every captain needs a shield. Oh, you know the tales. You know the tales. We'll just bring this down, and his cloak comes this way. There we are. And of course, he had a great sword that's stuck out of his belt, too. There we are. 
And one more hobbit. One more hobbit here. Oh, and who was that? Oh, that was my grand gaffer Gamgee. He's the one who told me most of these tales. That's right. When I was just a little hobbit, he told me this whole tale. Such an adventure, such an adventure. And his pack was full, of course. He had lots he was carrying with him. Lots indeed. There we go. Oh, and bringing up the rear guard. Oh, back here in the rear. Oh, Longshanks himself. Aragorn. And of course, he watched out for the party. With his high boots that the rangers wore. There he is himself, O King Elisar. That's right, King Elisar. And there we go. I know what you're thinking. Oh, but Timbo, there was one more in the party I forgot to mention. Oh, how could I forget? I didn't forget. I just wanted to see if you remembered. Oh, Bill the Pony. Look, I even left a space for him. I should have put Gandalf up a little farther, but that's okay. That gives him more room to walk. But old Bill the Pony was right here, right behind my old Grand Gaffer Gamgee. And I'm not the best at painting old horses or ponies and that sort of thing. But old Bill was, he was an important member of the party. Weighted down with all they couldn't carry. That was important. There we are, old Bill. Now, old Bill gives us quite the fright. We have to worry about him for quite some time. And of course, he was being led And of course, we have to put some packs on old Bill. No pony would be along for this type of adventure if they weren't weighted down 
So no, that's not a camel, that's not a camel. It's just old Bill the Pony with packs weighted down on him. There we go. There's our nine plus one Bill the Pony. Oh, I hope you enjoy that painting. That's a fun one. That is a fun one. Now, once it dries, you can go back in and you can put some more details in if you'd like. You can, even while it's wet, you can come in and you can give it some more shading, those sorts of things. Maybe you make the legs look a little better than I did. But there it is. There's our fellowship. Off on their adventure, their treacherous adventure. Oh, I would love to go on that adventure with them. But I've had my own adventures in my time, that's for sure. Now, I hope you enjoyed today's painting. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. I appreciate you joining me each week, coming along on these adventures. And remember to subscribe and hit the like button, leave a comment. All of that stuff helps more friends find the adventure. That's right. I thank you for joining me. Goodbye and God bless.